In today's video, we're going to break down five incredible facts about the wonderful Siberian Husky. Welcome back to the Fenrir Husky Show. If this is your first time here, then my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about Siberian Huskies. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Husky companions. So if you're a lifelong Husky lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Husky, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Siberian Husky video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five incredible and interesting facts about the world's most glorious looking dog breed. And starting at number five, we have to talk about their extreme athleticism. And when I say extreme, I really do mean it. It can be incredibly complicated as we delve into the Husky's biology, but to keep it somewhat simple, they have an amazing ability to regulate their metabolism meaning they can do extreme levels of exercise and activity without tapping into their stored energy stores like glycogen or fat stores. This means that they can run and run and run and maintain their pace for extremely long periods of time, which is where this fact gets really mind boggling. A well-trained Husky that's job is to run can easily manage 125 miles a day, maintaining around 10 or 11 miles per hour for over 10 hours. Now this incredible feat isn't exclusive to just the elite Huskies. Pet Huskies can also manage incredible levels, often easily being able to manage 20 or 30 miles a day. So if you're thinking of getting a Husky, make sure you have the time and fitness to give this breed the insane levels of exercise they need. Things like Conny Cross or biking with your Husky can be a great way to allow you to keep up with them as you will 100% tire out long before a husky will. Now our fact at number four is one that I'm extremely familiar with. The second dog I rescued and rehabilitated myself at the start of my career as a canine behaviorist was a Siberian husky and over the years since I've helped many people with huskies and one of the most common questions I get is about them running off and being escape artists. I've never encountered a breed like the husky with so much wanderlust and so much desire to escape and run. It makes sense when you think about the fact we just talked about but this is a breed you have to have a close eye on at all times. They will dig under fences, they can cl easily climb over pretty high fences and are always waiting for a door to be left open for just a second so that they can make a break for it. At number three, let's talk about those eyes. One of the contributing factors that makes this breed one of the most glorious looking breeds on the planet. And I'll go out and say it, not only are they one of the most glorious looking dog breeds, they are also one of the most glorious looking animals, period. There's only a few breeds that have piercing blue eyes, but none as striking as the Husky. And the Husky can have two blue, one blue, or neither blue. Our fact at number two is about how their genius their bodies are at keeping them warm, even in the coldest conditions in the world. They have an incredibly thick double coat. The bottom coat, which is called the undercoat, is short and very warm. The overcoat is longer and water resistant, and combined makes for the perfect Arctic combination. But it's not just their coats. Their almond eyes are also fit for purpose, allowing them to squint enough so that they can still see where they're going, but it keeps the snow out. And last but not least, their tails are also ingenious. When a husky sleeps, they will curl up in a tight ball and cover their faces with their tails. Their breath then warms up their tail and it acts like a hot water bottle for the dog and protects their face from those intense cold conditions. Now, before we dive into our last fact in the number one spot, I want to thank everybody that's still here watching this video. If you are, make sure you drop a comment down in the comment section below to say hello. Now, if you didn't know, I've created a lot of online resources and I'm proud to have been able to help thousands of people become high level canine leaders and be able to raise perfect Husky companions. So if you're thinking about getting a new Siberian Husky or maybe you've just got one, I do highly recommend you checking out our Ultimate Siberian Husky Owner's Guide. If you're interested in more information, and you can go and look at some of our testimonials from our thousands of very happy clients and see if it's something that could be as life-changing for you and your dog as it was for them and theirs. All the links are down in the description box below. My fact in the number one spot has to be about one of my 
favourite canine stories of all time and highlights not how only incredible this breed is, but also how amazing dogs are in general. Now, in 1925, a village worth of children came down with an awful disease called diphtheria. The closest antitoxin was a thousand miles away in a hospital in Anchorage. The train could only take the medicine so far and it was up to people and teams of sled dogs to transport the package the other 674 miles in order to save the children in time. 20 mushers and their sled dogs battled the brutal weather in a relay to get the medicine there safely. It took 127.5 hours to complete the mission but the medicine made its way to the village. The final leg was completed by a black Siberian Husky and its team. When finally reaching their destination, the dogs were hailed as heroes and appeared in newspapers across the country, and rightly so. You may even remember this story from the animated movie after the dog called Bolto, and the real Bolto was actually stuffed and mounted and can be seen at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History if you're ever in that neck of the woods. Now, I hope you enjoyed our five facts today. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to hit that subscribe button we have two dedicated siberian husky videos coming here to this channel every single week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir husky show